Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. If you go online and you think about books, more than likely you're going to be thinking about digital books with places like Amazon Kindle being the biggest, but there's also places such as Barnes & Nobles, Kobo, and iBooks, and there are many others. And if you are the person who are interested in getting into this whole ebook publishing thing, you're probably maybe confused as to what your options are. Now, for a lot of people who do this professionally, they will go to something like Adobe InDesign, which is pretty much the standard when it comes to publishing tools, but obviously it is not free. Now, if you are on Linux, there are free options, and these are available on other platforms as well. So some of the options right away is you can use something like Scribus. Now, Scribus, it is a publishing tool, but it's more for brochures and other types of media, more for business, okay? So it's not really for books, but you can do a book through this. It's just not really made for that, okay? Another option is Krita. Now, Krita is more of a graphics design type publishing tool. However, you can actually create books through here as well, but they're more in a format of like comic book templates, okay, or manga, okay? So technically you can create them here as well. But the one that I recommend, and it's actually the best free public tool available on Linux or on any other platform, that is Calibre. This is my favorite publishing tool. Even if it was a paid publishing tool, I would pay for it. And the creator, Kavit Goyo, he's been doing this for years. I highly recommend you support his site as well. Now, this particular tool, it is available in your software manager for free, okay? And so are the other two tools that I talked about, being Krita and Scribus. However, the version on the software manager is really old. It's 2.55. And so if you do download this tool, I recommend you get it from his site. If you go to Downloads and Linux, the latest version is 3.16. And he does update this tool regularly. And so all you would do is actually download it through here. Okay, and so uh, that is the preferred method in downloading this tool. Now, why do I love this tool so much? So let me open this up for you real quick. So you'll find it right here under Office once you install it. And the reason why I love this tool so much is because it does so many things and it does it well. Okay, now it does definitely have a learning curve. But if you ever want to learn how to do publishing, you know, create ebooks that you can actually upload to all these platforms, then this is the tool for you. Okay. And once again, it is a free tool. And so I'm going to give you a tour of how this works. So then you kind of get an idea of how the whole book publishing, ebook publishing world operates. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is actually have a book to actually import into Calibre. You know, this could be on two main formats, okay? So I'm going to this site right here called Gutenberg.org or Project Gutenberg. This is a great resource if you want to come download free books that are public domain books. So I'm going to show you some right here. So let's go ahead and go top ebooks. Go to A Tale of Two Cities. And here you have many options, okay? You can download an actual EPUB. And in terms of formats, EPUB... It's what's available on all these other platforms, Barnes & Noble's, Kobo, iBooks. This is the primary platform or format that people use to publish. However, Amazon is different. They have their own proprietary platform, and that is a Mobi file. So here is Kindle you know, with the Mobi file format. Now, you can also read this book online as well, Okay, but that's not what we're doing here. We download it, and I've already done that right here. And so I have both the Mobi file and the EPUB file, okay? Now, within Calibre, you can also import a Word document as well. This handles pretty much all publishing type formats. However, there are formatting issues, okay? And so, what you're gonna have to learn is, from the beginning, you're probably gonna be creating your book in a Microsoft Word format, okay? And so, if you do import that in here, just understand that there will be publishing issues. And so, I'm not gonna get into details with formatting here. But primarily in the whole publishing world, people will work with the EPUB format, which you can edit. And then if they do upload it to places like Kindle, which most people are, they will have to convert that into a Mobi file. 
okay and so I'm gonna go ahead and add the book and I'm gonna show you how to actually convert a Mobi file to EPUB file if that is all you have so here is a Mobi file okay and here's the book you can look at it and there's the book right here okay now just to you know briefly explain the Mobi format like I said it is a format by Amazon and so it's not something you can edit right away and so typically you're gonna have to convert this into EPUB okay so if you do not have an EPUB available and you only have a Mobi file and a lot of people who download free books for Kindle they'll get it in a Mobi format you can easily convert this book so here you go here and go convert and the reason why I'm doing this is uh, I want to show you the many features that Calibre offers okay so we could do convert and see you can convert it into multiple different formats okay so I'm gonna convert it into EPUB because the thing with Mobi files is that you cannot edit them directly okay uh, you can only edit EPUB files okay once your book has been converted into an EPUB format what you see here is it is a formats EPUB and there's your original Mobi and now you can actually edit the book so we'll just go right click right here edit book and this is where things get a little bit interesting so as you can see here there's nothing but eight HTML files right here and you don't see anything in the middle well that's because whenever you break this book down it's actually converted into separate HTML files that's actually how the whole Mobi format works so um, if you double click on it you will see the actual content here on the right this is the actual the file preview and this is actually the contents of that HTML file so this is something that was kind of weird to me I would never think that creating a book would involve HTML but that's actually how it works here and so as you click on each one of these HTML file they are a different part of each book a different section okay and as you go through it's kind of confusing at first but after a while you get used to it okay and if you have had experience with HTML this becomes a whole lot easier because just think of it like a website okay here's all your coding this is how your website's gonna look okay so that's probably a very general idea of how you should actually look at this and so as you're going through this HTML files you're gonna find the place where you want to edit and so once you get there then you could actually get into the HTML file itself and here you could actually just edit anything that you want in here like for example if I want to make this text right here bold I just highlight it and you actually have formatting tools up here which are similar to formatting tools that you would get in Microsoft Word or any other type of uh, HTML editor okay so you, right here you just press bold and now it's bolded right here in your file preview and as you can see there it added bold tags as well to your text okay and so everything that you would normally do with an HTML file if you actually put the code snippets right here it actually change it right here on the file preview so if you are not familiar with HTML uh, then you're gonna have to learn because there's really no way around that okay but the formatting tools it does makes things a lot easier because it'll put all the coding in there for you okay so say for example I wanted to add a, another headline okay I could just say so what if I wanted to italicize that so I would just highlight the text make it italics and there it added the appropriate tags and here it is and so as you can see here after a while this is becomes fairly a simple thing in terms of editing the contents of your book and you can also add images here as well right there and whenever you add the images it'll come down right here all your images are actually located right here and so easy for you to actually go through and see what's actually in your books and then if you wanted to add more complexity to your books there's so many options you could add, even add your own CSS styles as well so this is truly like creating a website now besides the formatting tools there are other options right here there is a spell checker right here you could add different special characters right there um, you could also generate reports uh, which I really do not use so it'll gather data on the book and you could generate a variety of reports but there you see there and so I really feel like Calibre is a content manager 
for books okay if you think about something like WordPress this is the same thing except it's made purely for publishing okay now obviously after you save it you could actually convert this back into another format if you like so once you've saved it you can once again convert the book into something else okay and so here you could make it another Mobi format and so it'll overwrite your existing one you could actually convert it as a word document as well pdf so many other options and you can even you know edit the other options that are available when you actually convert it okay like your table of contents the actual epub output and so there are a lot of other things that you can do here but as i said this will take you some time to learn um, even myself i've been using this for a while now there's still so many other things that I don't know how to do in this because it is such a fully featured tool and as you're looking through this like you could even edit the metadata as well so right there so you could change things such as the authors tags you know you could even add an additional description so this is really great for the actual ebook format that it's going to go to so you can read this information and it's also great for SEO as well whenever you publish this to places like Amazon Kindle because Amazon, like every other website, just like Google, YouTube, they all are pretty much search engines. And so it gives you the options to do that here as well. And so as you're going through this, you're going to see so many different things that are available uh, for you to use. And even something such as the preferences. There's a mind-boggling amount of things available. You know, you could even download new plugins. So these are all the current plugins that are available in the tool but you could also go get new plugins as well. And so they, they give it additional functionality. And like for myself, I've added these two plugins right here. It's an EPUB merge and EPUB split. So that allows me to merge different books or split a book so that you can create like box sets and so forth, okay? So as you can see here, Calibri is an amazing tool. I still really feel that there is no better free tool for publishing and at the same time as you get into this you will learn more about book publishing as well and if you want to learn book publishing from the ground up the course that i recommend is k money mastery by stefan palernos this is the best tool best course that i've ever taken to learn how to create an ebook and that's actually how i learned how to do it and so it's actually k money mastery 2.0 at this point and here is my members area once you purchase the product and the lessons itself they are very easy to follow but very valuable because Stefan does give you actual action steps to take so that you truly understand how to create a book how to market it and then how to sell it and so that's it for this particular tutorial if you did want to get this course K Money Mashi, you want to support my channel be sure to check it out in the affiliate link area below and so if you had any thoughts on Calibre or any other publishing tool that you enjoy using, uh, be sure to share some of your ideas down there as well. And so as always, if you did enjoy these videos, you got value out of them, be sure to subscribe. And if you did want to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.